Today we are doing something different. I know that this is an electro news channel, but today we are making a well. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I've got myself a small piece of land and I already have like 10 project ideas to make on this land, starting with the main project, which is making a container home. Now it won't be a container or shipping container because believe it or not here in Spain that is now a business and they are very expensive. I want to make my own container so I already have the metal that I need, the metal sheets, the design, I've already had the design and together with that I have projects like for example making the electrical system with solar panels, with batteries and this will be fully off-grid and maybe I will also make, be making a greenhouse that's a side project and that will have IoT with Wi-Fi connection with camera and securities and uh, humidity sensors water sensors, automatic uh, water and so on. So basically this will start a new chapter, a new series of videos on my channel and if you think that is interesting make sure that you subscribe to watch all of those videos because this year I'll be making uh, this kind of projects. But for today do you want to learn how to make a well? And this will be a low cost well because I've already talked with some companies that are making wells and all the codes that I had were very very expensive so I thought it should be a lot better to make it myself and also make a video about that. So that is said, let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. So let's make a well. In this video I want to show you all the material that you need to make a well, the process of making it and also the final results, which since this is my first time making a well, I hope that it will go okay. So the well that I will be making is very narrow and very deep because you have like wide wells that don't have to go very deep and very narrow wells that must go a little bit deeper. And for that I'm using a 10 centimeter PVC tube and that will be our well. And also if you want to use an electric pump with this kind of well, you should use a pump like this one here. And this is called a submergible pump. And basically this pushes the water from below instead of sucking it from above. So this can go to hundreds of meters. Anyway, let's start with what we need, the full part list. And we start with the machine for drilling the well. And this machine cost me $700 and that includes the taxes and also 20 meters of pipe. And I bought this directly from AliExpress and all the links for everything that you will see in this video are below. And the quotes that I had from the companies for a 15 meters well are around $5,000. So with that I can buy five of these machines. So making my own well will be a lot cheaper and besides having the machine that means that in the future I can make a second well or even a third well if I wanted to. Or I can even sell this machine for second hand and get my money back. Because once this is imported here in Spain the price will go a little bit higher because I already paid the taxes and so on. And the machine has the drill and this is 2200 watts. You have the round handle with the water input and the gears. I have 20 meters of pipe, this is the pipe here, as you can see, and I have the drill bit. And the drill head is the special part of this machine and it has some sort of PDC inserts. This is a very strong material and degrades very slow, so you can drill a lot with this. But you can go through rock, so have that in mind. You can go through hard soil, sand or even some small stones, but you can penetrate rock with this. So if you have rock below you, you should use a stronger machine that can break the rock. And this machine has an input for a water hose. So basically the water will input here and exit on the bottom of the drill bit. So all the mud and all the small rocks that are created are pushed upwards and outputted at the output of the well. And that's how you create the well. You get all that mud and stuff out of there using water. So when we are making the drill, we use a lot of water. But this water needs to be a little, a little bit thicker so for that we add some sort of polymer to it and in this case I found sodium bentonite and this is what I found here. I will leave a list of other materials that you could add in the description below but this is what I have right now. So this makes the water thicker so it will be able to push upwards all the dirt, the mud, the small stones and that's how we remove what we are drilling inside of the well. Also besides of making the water thicker it will also seal the walls of the, of the well so it won't collapse. So it's very important to have this kind of polymer inside of the water. So basically since we are using water you will need also a water pump and this can be a basic water pump, it doesn't, be, doesn't have to be a high pressure or very deep water pump. A normal water pump and then once the drill is finished, once, the, once we have the well, you need to place some sort of plastic tube inside it. And in this case I'm having... And this, in this case I'm using PVC tube, this is a 10, 10 centimeter PVC pipe. 
and also you will need uh, PVC glue in order to merge them together and that's basically everything that you need to make the plastic part of the well. And the next component that you will need is this cloth filter because basically the last part of the tube that goes inside of the well must have some drills, some holes and then we cover this with this polymer, uh, this plastic filter so this will ensure that no dirt will go inside of the well and only the water will be filtered in. So this costs you just like ten dollars so basically we'll fill one entire tube with this filter and then place it inside of, the, inside of the well. An extra to this main material you will need, well, a rope maybe, a hose for the water. I also have here some scotch tape to maybe add the filter. Obviously you will need a shovel to make the main hole and maybe some metal bars or maybe wood bars because I need to make some sort of tripod. And this is just extra because it will take a little bit from the weight and also assure that you will go straight downwards. But this you can make it just with your bare hands if you want to. And obviously the last thing that we need is a lot of water. In my case I have this barrel of 1000 liters, which now is empty, but tomorrow when we will be making the drill will be full. And I hope this will be enough, because otherwise I will have to go and get some more water, which is a lot of time. But I hope that 1000 liters will be enough. So that's everything that we need. The machine, the pipes, the filter, the polymer and a bunch of water. So now we are ready to make the well. So guys, let's see the process of making a well. But first, please, just one minute from the sponsor of this video, PCBWay. Check this out, guys. Even inside of this motor, we have a tiny PCB. Nowadays, PCBs are everywhere. That's why I want to talk about the sponsor of this video, PCBWay. Because if you have some kind of prototype or you are working on a project, if you want to make professional PCBs, you should definitely check their services for PCB prototyping, but also for CNC milling of metal parts, of mold injected parts, of plastic or 3D printed parts, and much more. I work a lot with printed circuits and I think I've made more than 100 PCBs. And each time that I use their services, I get very good uh, results. The tracks are perfect, the VS are perfect, everything is working nice. And and the price are so low that even if you make some kind of mistake, you can reorder the PCB once again, getting better and better till you have a final product. So have in mind, the next time that you have a project with a PCB and you have some Gerber files, check the PCB for their services. And now let's continue with this video. Okay guys, so the first step is to decide where to make the well. And then you have to make a hole that will be squared like half a meter all around, half a meter wide and deep. And then from that hole, you have to make a canal till the point of where you want to make the well. So basically when we will be drilling, that hole will be filled with water. So everything that comes out from the drill, all the water with the mud and the stones will get into that big hole because this water will have the polymer and that's how we can remove all the, all the dirt and clean it out. But first you have to be sure that you have already the filter with the PVC tubes because once you are finished with the well, you have to be quick and add the plastic tube inside because otherwise it might collapse. So before you start making the hole of the drill, please make sure that you add the filter and that's the next step that we will see. Okay, so let's make the filter part. So basically you take one segment of the tube, which would be like two meters, and you take like a small part of the tube or maybe directly a cap. And what I want to do is to heat it up and bend it. So this will be closed because this will be the tip of the entire well and also make it round. So when you fit it inside of the well, it won't hit the walls and it will go straight forward, actually straight downwards. And once you have the tip, you can glue it in place and then it's time to make the holes. So basically you take your PVC pipe and maybe using a handsaw or maybe an angle grinder, just make like lines of holes, maybe like one or two centimeters, but don't make them too close because that will weaken the entire tube. And when you place it inside of the well, it might break. So just make the holes like two meters of holes on each side, one on this side, you flip it 180 on the other side, and then we add the filter. Okay, so once you have the tube with all the holes on each side, it's time to add the filter. So basically we make a nut on one side of the filter, which is basically like uh, some sort of nylon uh, material. And once we have the nut, the nut, you can cut it to size and then we fit it on top of the tube like it will be a, a sock. So you measure it to size, in this case, two or three meters, you cut it to size. And on the other end, we use some PVC glue and glue it in place. And just to make sure you can add some uh, sort of tape on top, just to make sure that the glue will stick there till the glue is dry. So now we have the entire tube with holes for filtering and also the filter on top. And this will be on the tip of the well. And the other tubes that we put on top don't uh, need uh, holes, only the first one. Okay, so now that we have the terrain prepared, the hole is prepared, the filter tube is prepared, we can start drilling. And in my case, what I want is to make some sort of tripod made out of some metal bars. 
and that will hang the machine because this is not mandatory but this machine is quite heavy and also in order to make sure that it will go straight downwards it's uh, better to use something to hang it and then just go downwards but this is not mandatory okay so we add the first pipe to the machine and also we add the drill head to the first pipe we connect the hose from the water pump to our machine and then that water pump will go to the hole that we made in the ground which will be filled with water with that polymer so you mix some polymer with some water you throw it inside of the water that you already have inside of the hole and then when you uh, place the uh, water pump inside of this water it will complete the circuit because this water since it's thick it will go through the machine to the head of the drill and it will push out all the dirt and all the stones basically what we are doing is to get the water from the hole inside of the machine and then that water will exit below on the head of the drill and this will be drilling the, the soil and then all that soil, since the water is a lot thicker and has less polymer, will go upwards and exit on that uh, hole that we've made. And then from time to time, maybe each two bars, you can take it out with a shovel or with your hands and clean it out. And that's basically how we make a, a well, because that water gets into the hole on the ground and the pump passes that water once again into the machine and this will be a closed circuit because the water will enter the machine exit on the uh, downwards and then it will go upwards into the hole and then back to the machine and once the water gets on top and into the hole since the dirt is a lot heavier it will settle down and then you can use a filter and filter that water to the machine with the pump and get it back downwards into the well so basically once you have the pipe and the drill head and the machine you start the water pump and then you start drilling and you have to go slowly and just fill the terrain if the terrain is too strong, don't stop, but just go slower. And then once you fit an entire bar into the soil, you can just stop the machine, remove it, and then add another metal pipe, connect back the machine, and repeat this process for all the pipes. In my case, I have 20 pipes here, but I'm not sure the depth of my water. Actually, without any special equipment, you can know for sure the depth where the best layer of water will be. So what you could do is just ask your neighbors around, because pretty much the layer of the the best layer of water will be at the same height from your neighbor to your your own ground also when you are drilling just keep some samples from the soil because that color and the type of soil is, is more muddy or more like sand will give you some information about if you are hitting a good layer of water or not then if the water level in the hole that you've made drops during uh, the drilling time you should add some more water and also make sure that you add some more polymer as well because the water has to be thicker and just fill it with your hand if it, if it is like a normal water just add some more, more polymer okay so once the drill is made and we finish the well we have to now remove all the metal pipes but please be very careful because when removing the pipes if one of the pipes falls into the hole it will be stuck there forever because there is no way of getting that pipe out of there so basically what you have to do is to remove one pipe hook it with some sort of hook or maybe with your hand maybe you have some help grab it with your hand and then remove the pipe on top and then take it out the next hook it with something else take it out take it out once again the one that is inside of the hole hook it with something so in each moment make sure that you hook it with something or maybe some someone else will grab it because otherwise if you just let it go it will be stuck there in the hole forever because there is no way to get it out so repeat this process till all the metal bars from the hole are removed and now it's time to add the PVC pipes and we start with the first pipe which is the one that has the filter so just grab it and slowly push it inside of the well and then just keep it at the edge of the ground and add some glue some PVC glue and add the next pipe on top it is a lot easier if you have some sort of support because once again if this tube goes downwards it, there is no way to get it out so maybe someone else could help you grab it with uh, their hands you add the glue add the next uh, pipe on top wait till the glue is uh, is dry because this type of pvc glue hardens very very fast and then you repeat this process you place the two tubes that you have inside of the well add once again some glue add the next tube and so on and so on so repeat this process till all the tubes are inside of the well and you can't go downwards anymore and that's the finish of uh, your well now the entire pvc tube is inside of the of the ground okay but now we have the next step now the tube is inside of the ground but it can move so now to seal the ground and also create some sort of filter so the water can filter in we add some sort of sand or maybe gravel small gravel so place it around of the of the plastic tube inside of the well and that will seal it 
fix it in place and also create some sort of drainage like a filter so the water could pass inside of the plastic pipe. So guys, this was the process of making a high depth well. This is a homemade version and only for like $800 or so. And that including the machine which you could use for the next well because the pipe of the plastic pipe, the PVC pipe is very, uh, very cheap and the filter is like $10. So just leave the water to settle for some time and then you can use a high depth pump and pump the water up uh, and use it with your plants and maybe even drink it. I'm not sure about that, but you can use it with your greenhouse and so on. One thing that you might not know about this type of pump that I'm mentioning, this is a submergible pump. So what is the difference with a normal pump? Well, basically a normal pump is using sucking power. So it sucks the water using a centrifugal force or depending on the pump and it sucks the, the water creating void. And the void has a limit, which is not a point. Creating void. And the void has a limit because you can't go below void. The void is the absence of air or the absence of anything. So that means that that kind of pump has a limit. And that limit is when the, the weight of the water that you are pulling upwards is the same as the force that the void is creating. And I think that limit was around 10 meters. So with a normal pump, you can go below 10 meters. You can pull water below 10 meters. But in this case, this kind of pump that I'll try to place here, this, instead of sucking the water out, is pushing the water from below. And there is no limit of pushing because you can always push with more and more force. There is no limit like the void. So you can push the entire water and that's how usually you can go up to 200 meters or even more just pushing the water upwards. That's the difference between these two pumps. The more you know. So guys, the first step for my land is ready. Now I have clean water, I have a well, so it's time for the next step for this land, which is the next project, the main project of this land, making a container home. As I've told you, this won't be a container, a shipping container, because here in Spain, a lot of people started buying these containers because it's very cheap, and with less than $10,000, you can make a proper basic home for your vacation. So those who are selling those in the port of Barcelona, are making a business out of it so they're asking like two thousand dollars for just a 20 foot uh, container which is not that big six meters so instead of buying it actually it's two thousand dollars almost without including shipment shipment and taxes and here where i live is like 200 kilometers from barcelona and basically i don't even know if i can bring it here because just at the entrance this is a side of the village so just at the entrance i have like a, a bridge made out of uh, cement so i'm not sure i'm, I'm pretty sure that it won't fit through that bridge so the the truck that will bring it uh, will have to leave it there so i have to bring it myself like 500 meters and i'm not sure with what that's why i want to make it myself so i already bought the material which is less than half the price and not just that but when i'll be making my home i will already leave the spaces for the door the window and so on and if you were to buy a container you already have to cut the container add the support and make the space for the door uh, repaint it and usually when you buy a used container has some rust holes so you have to fill those and fix it so basically maybe the amount of work is a bit more with the container house that i'm making but i prefer like that because it's half the price and also i can make a video i'll share all the plans with you for the home or the the skeleton of the home and then the walls which are made out of metal and then the interior walls which is just drywall and then we add the electrical system and then we'll make a greenhouse for sure so we have plenty of projects for this uh, land so please make sure that you subscribe leave a comment below that will help me a lot and also give it give a like to this video and maybe even share with your friends i've seen that the in, the more interaction i have with my videos the be the better it will be placed on youtube so if you want to support me please thumbs up comment anything that you can do to help me just do it thank you very much and keep up you guys so guys here i am in my workshop another video that ended i hope that you like it and the most important part, I hope that you have learned something new. Anyway, I just wanted to give a thank you to all my patrons, to you guys, to the viewers who are supporting me, liking my content, uh, sharing it, commenting below. Uh, just check my website, check my shop, check my t-shirts. All this kind of stuff will support my channel. So thank you very much once again.